got a little curious and I decided to order some samples or some fragrances from three houses I do not own anything from. Let's get on into it. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel everyone. The Santa Maria here and yes we are doing a fragrances I'm currently sampling video. These are always a lot of fun and in particular these are three houses that I don't own anything from. Now I have smelled some things from them but yeah I don't own anything. So hopefully my mind might change and we'll see what happens. As always lipstick of the day today. This is an oldie but goodie. This is MAC Ravishing. Check that out. Unfortunately Ravishing has gone bye bye but it's this peachy type of color. Super cute. I'll try to link an alternative if I can in the description box below. Next up we have fragrance of the day and I was feeling very mm, flirty young me a little bit of date nights all of the above which I will be going out after this but alas fragrance of the day is Parfums de Marley or Rihanna so mm, I have missed Rihanna I put a big dent in her last year I definitely see my dent in here and I have missed you I think we have to put another dent in it because it's been a minute Parfums de Marley or Rihanna is a vibe I already have a full dedicated review up on the channel about this scent so if you're interested in it definitely check that out and since we're here nail color of the day because i know you all would ask this is from the barbie opi collaboration that is new out and this is the shade hi barbie of course the barbie movie is out and yeah i saw this collection and this nail color I had to get it. So this was my moment of weakness concerning all the Barbie mania and yeah I had to get the nail polish. It'll be in the description box below as well. The three brands that are going to be sampled here today are from Thamin, Creed, and Initio. So very excited about it. I placed an order to Twisted Lily myself. Yes you all know I do have a code with Twisted Lily but yes I am also a customer and I get a little curious too so placed me an order, got my package, and let's get into these samples. Yes whenever it comes to sampling I always say that is a first impression video because you can't really get the full wear unless you got like a full-size bottle right here but alas I have actually worn all of these samples on my skin so let's have some fun all right so the first one was from Initio this is the reason I even placed this order because people have been comparing this fragrance so often to another scent particularly from Parfums de Marley and the fragrance I'm referring to is from Initio and this is Atomic Rose right here very excited to get this one because by the way samples of of atomic rose are very hard to get not many people carry initio samples but twisted lily does and i'm happy about that you all know i put the code up here somewhere in the video but yes use my code get you some samples too a lot on these niche fragrances okay let's get into atomic rose so they have it written up as an explosive rose drive by the iconic ingredients of carnal blends collection the queen of flowers enters another dimension a rose diffracted into a powerful siage an olfactory blast with intense emotional charge feminine and masculine soft but merciless like a rush of adrenaline Atomic Rose heightened by an overdose of hedion linking smells to pleasure and sexuality an explosive bomb that blows your mind. Okay, that is a whole lot for Initial Atomic Rose, but yeah, let's get into it. So a lot of times people say that this is like the older, deeper, darker version of Parfums de Marla de Lena, and I wanted to test it out for myself, and I do have some thoughts, but I will refresh my memory right now. Because again, I have worn this on skin. So upon opening of this fragrance, y'all, to me, Initial's Atomic Rose, the opening absolutely smells like 90% Parfums de Marley Delina. It does. Just on paper, if I was just going off of paper alone, I would say this is nothing but another clone of Delina. That's what I would think. However, when you wear this one on skin, you notice that this one is more so smoother than Delina. It doesn't have as much tartness to it, particularly from their rhubarb note that's in Delina. And it's definitely heavier. This one is heavier and it's deeper and dare I say it's a little bit darker. Mmm, I gotta admit, at first I was like, ah, I don't want to buy into the Atomic Hype. That's why I waited so long to test it out. But y'all, I'm gonna want a bottle for fall. I am. I'm gonna want a bottle for fall. This is definitely giving day night. Atomic Rose is definitely sexy, so I definitely get the reasoning people say it's like the older sister to Delina. I 100% get that. By the way, I did a comparison. I wore both of the fragrances on my skin. One side was Atomic Rose, the other side was Delina. Delina smells more bubbly, more happy, more daytime, whereas Atomic Rose smells more dark, deep, and definitely sexier. 
But yes, mm. if you are a fan of the Delina DNA, which you all know I own the trio of Delinas, then yeah, you're gonna end up with Atomic Rose because I'm gonna be one of those people. Atomic Rose has officially made it to the full bottle worthy wish list moment that is my life. <laughs> so I do like Initio's Atomic Rose. And I wasn't done with the House of Initio. I also decided to sample another one. Now this is one that is extremely polarizing. Everybody loves Atomic Rose, I've noticed, but this one is either you love it or you hate it. So the next one is from Initio and this is Absolute Aphrodisiac. I heard it's a different take on vanilla and I've been hearing it's like super sexy or a lot of people say it smells too animalic. I was like, okay. I'm gonna tie this for myself. Like I always tell y'all, try the fragrances for yourself. Don't just go off of what you hear here on YouTube. Yes, I know I'm one of those people that review fragrances as well, but please sample it, test it, buy it, whatever for yourself. Get your own opinion on the fragrance. Let's talk about Absolute Aphrodisiac. So they have it written up as boundaries blur as desires of the palette coupled with the intimate rapture as skin meets skin. Okay, that's a lot. So we have gourmand and desires are awakened in the union of sweet vanilla animalistic aphrodisia of soft musk with forbidden castorium the euphoria of the carnal dance awakens the feline instincts embracing you in its storm a truly aphrodisiac essence okay this is supposed to be an animalistic animalic take on vanilla so let's see and we'll talk about it let's, let's see what Af absolute aphrodisiac was giving this was one i was like i don't know we're gonna see it can go either way so okay i definitely wore this one and in particular you are i wore this one when i went to go and vote because like yay local elections are totally a thing right now and let me tell you this is one on paper i was like i don't know it's different but on skin the vanilla warms up and heats up and comes to the top but it has this type of it's like a dirty vanilla to me and it definitely is a come hither type of vanilla it's, it's kind of raunchy this is the best way to put it and the way they wrote it up too with especially with the name absolute aphrodisiac yeah yeah it's a vibe this is giving adults only vanilla this ain't for the kids mm -mm. Mm. This is divine on skin. Now to me, this will be a late fall, early winter banger. I'm here for it. So for me, I'm digging absolute aphrodisiac. It's absolutely worth the hype for those that do like it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I like this. I like this. I have to say you all, I have smelled, what's this, three initial fragrances to date at this point. The first one was Psychedelic Love, which I am in... I'm obsessed with Psychedelic Love. That's the first one I need a full size bottle of, by the way. I sampled Psychedelic Love a long time ago, but I just want to reiterate that now. But that will be my first purchase from Initio because uh, Psychedelic Love is it's an almond type of scent. Whew, pressure. Love it. I'm digging Atomic Rose, so I think that is also going to be a full bottle. And Absolute Aphrodisiac is a yes. So I got to say, you all, so far, Initio is three for three with me. I'm here for it. I'm digging it. Moving on now. Now let's go in a little bit of a different direction. The next fragrance is from the house of Creed and this is Creed Windflowers that I got a sample of. Now Windflowers is one of those I've noticed. It tends to be kind of light but some people hate it and people have tended to hate it because of the fact they felt like it was too normal or too regular. So I just wanted to like smell it. I ended up throwing this in the basket at the last minute. I was like, hey, let's just see what happens. <laughs> so let me spray a little bit of Creed Windflowers. So I don't have any fancy write-up on Creed Windflowers to share with you all, but I do have the notes of it. So we have top notes of Jasmine from India, Orange Blossom from Tanzania, and then we have Peach. Then we have middle notes of Jasmine Sandback, Tuberose Absolute, Rose Centifolia, and then we have base notes of Praline, Iris, Orange Blossom, Musk Notes, and Sandalwood. In my opinion, this is Creed Does Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle. That is what this is in my opinion. Very beautiful. It's definitely that fruity patchouli type of scent. Think again, Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle, in my opinion. I also think Louis Vuitton or Trap Rev. All of those type of scents, if you notice, all of them have this like pinky peachy type of juice too. Just like a thing. There's a reason for that. It's definitely girly vibes. This one is very definitely mass appealing, but that patchouli is heavy in here. So I can't say, oh, everybody's going to love it, but you got to be a patchouli lover. But it definitely falls into that line of borderline designer. I got to be honest about that. It's nice. It's cool. And it lasts about the same as Coco Mademoiselle. So in my opinion, 
this is one if you just happen to be a creed lover i get it then sure go off go forth and flourish and get it but in my opinion you can get the same virtual effect of this scent for about a whole for about 300 dollars cheaper in my opinion so just get the coco mademoiselle so this is nice it's nice but eh. as of the sense i think we could do better from creed i think we could do a lot better than this it's okay now if i found wind flowers on discount i would pick it up so that's that's what i mean i don't hate the scent but this is a dna that i've just smelled before and at a cheaper price point but just being fair about this so it's not moving me all the way because i almost got excited about this scent and i was like i know why because it's familiar that type of thing so uh Cree wind flowers right now it's not full bottle worthy it's uh if i find it on a deep discount i get it <laughs> and the last scent is from thamin or tamin let me know how you all pronounce it because this is a new one for me this is thamin london and this is the infamous peregrina peregrina got hyped up here on youtube for a minute and i remember seeing it but i was just never interested in it at the time fast forward i'm like i'm actually trying to dip my toe again into different houses that's why this haul looks different for samples trying to see some new things and peregrina was one of those so let's talk about peregrina i'm gonna spray it and refresh it <laughs> okay i love the notes are actually in the booklet too so for peregrina oh gotta note this peregrina is actually an extract of parfum so i did not know that all the others have been eau de parfums by the way but peregrina from thamine is the only one that is an extract so i just want to note that we have top notes of damascene rose lily of the valley gardenia and jasmine and then we have heart notes of vanilla amber caramel myrrh ylang ylang and we have white musk and amber at the base so i'm gonna be honest the notes in peregrina are definitely all over the place to me because we got some florals going on and then we got some gourmet mind going on then we got some resinous myrrh going on and then we got woods and stuff so peregrina i was like i have no idea if i'm gonna like this or not plus i've never smelled anything from this house let me tell you on the paper it's the myrrh that overtakes everything else and if i was just going off of a paper i would not like this scene because i'm like oh it's giving a little bit of incense kind of vibe i'm not getting no flowers i'm not getting anything no sweetness no nothing it's almost actually a little smoky too on the paper but this is one, let me tell you, I had to wear it on my skin. Otherwise, I would have completely ridden this off. On the skin, I get the florals and then I get this sweet caramel. All of that comes through on the skin and it actually blends really pretty and it's very feminine. Head up actually complimented me on wearing this one. So I was like, hmm, because I really did not know because there's so much going on in this scent. I was like, I don't know how this one's going to be perceived. So, but hey, he complimented, he liked it. He's like, yeah, I like that. It's like the sweetness to it. It's feminine. He was getting the florals and the sweetness off of it. So I'm like, okay, I guess it works on me. Cool. So this is one very unique layers to her very complex so absolutely peregrina is truly a niche fragrance she doesn't smell like anything else in my collection mm -mm. and this is one i can definitely see being better for cooler weather this is a cooler weather take on rose in my opinion hmm and I look forward to playing with her more. So this is one of those samples that I'm going to shelve it until the weather dips down a little bit more, maybe say late September going into October. And I'll pull it back out then so I can really test it because I think this is going to be amazing when we get into real fall. So right now it's like, eh, kind of maybe sure. I don't know. It's a lot on paper, on skin, but we'll see. This is one I'm going to have to come back to. I don't hate it, but I'm intrigued. So that's Peregrina for me. <laughs> oh, this was also pretty cool too. Apparently currently right now at Twisted Lily, when you place an order, you get this little booklet and they give you these lovely test strips and things to play in. And I also got a 15% off coupon that came in my order. So we always like that. So I will be putting that to use. Let's see, I have 60 days to use this. Okay, as long as I use it on a order of $100 or more, which as we all know, very easy to do in niche world. <laughs> so that is my sampling of these fragrances from these houses that I own nothing from. Let me know what you think. Have you tried Atomic Rose from Initio? Have you tried Absolute Aphrodisiac from Initio? Have you tried Creed Windflowers? Or have you tried Thamines Peregrina? Let me know your thoughts on these scents. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Also, what else should I be sampling? I'm still in a series of sampling right now and trying different things. Let me know in the comments below as always. As usual, if you're digging me, subscribe to the channel. If you're here for the content, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not here for any of this, and I guess you don't like fragrance samples, and okay. Until next time, Elves, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.